I think what you got to do is when you're getting close to that goal, you go out there still full bore. If you win your last couple of bets, I always say win your last bet, right? You win, win your last bet, you win your 10% plus 50 bucks, plus 60 bucks, plus 45 bucks, whatever it is. That's your excess money. I want to play with the excess money. I think we need to take the excess money and... So, as you know, I'm doing the bankroll build show. We started the thing, brand new like arm of the, of the Daily Paycheck series where I'm building a bankroll from 10K to 100K. Simple system, right? We got 10K in the bank. We're looking to win 10% a day. I'm using 10%. So I'm buying in for 1,000, 10% of my 10. Looking to win 10% of that, 100 bucks, and build as we go. Very, very simple, right? If, we can, if you can pull it off, you can pull it off. Part of the theory is this, you know, playing carefully is my way anyway. I, I assert, and I know a lot of people have asserted this, almost every one of you at some point in the day is up 10%. So at some point in your craps day, you, most of the time, you don't go out there and just donate money from the, from the get. Some days you have those days. I've had those days too, right? You don't just go out there and get your ass kicked most of the time. You're up 10%. I want to see if we're up 10% and we're diligent about it and we walk with the 10%, does that overcome the losses? And I think that's where we are today. So if we can get that 10% profit, then we're all good. The problem is this. Um, when you're doing paycheck problem, the problem is the recovery, right? The goal and the recovery become a problem. I had this nice long talk with Ken from Ken Knows Gambling on the phone yesterday. And I was um, uh, emailing, chatting, commenting along with JB yesterday about the same thing. And JB, of course, is like, hey, you know, what's gonna happen when you lose? And I'm like, I know, here's the, here's the problem with it, right? If you buy in for a grand and you're looking to win 100 with 100% stop loss, which is what you should do, right, in these, in these scenarios, that's the right way to play this thing, right, is put all your money out there to win the 10%. Well, if you go 30 and 0, then you're a hero, right? But you're not gonna do that. If you go 29 and 1 in a month, right, your profit is 1,900 bucks. So you're not at 100 bucks a day, you're at $68 a day. If, that, if you lo lose one time, you lose the whole $1,000 once, but you win 29 times 100, your net is 1,900. That's a huge chunk of your profits gone in one bad session, right? If you go 28 and two, which is pretty damn good, you're only gonna net $800 for the month. You're gonna bust your ass to win 10%, 28 days in a row, lose twice, and now you're down to $27 a day. You may as well have driven for Postmates that day. You may as well have done Uber Eats, right? It becomes not worth it. Now, I know we're looking at small numbers here, but that point remains the same. If you go 27 and three with a 10% goal, you lose 300 bucks for the month. 27 straight wins, three consecutive losses or three losses throughout, and you're down 300 bucks. You lost a dollar a day. You're like paying, paying money to go to the casino. Now you're, now you're on the upside down swing of things. It doesn't take a lot right? To, to completely wipe out your stuff. And that's what JB is like. He's like, you'll never get to $100,000 doing it the way you're doing it. And again, from a math perspective, he's right. There's no way I'm going to go 365 and 0. It's, it's freaking impossible. If I do, then God bless me, right? We'll, we'll, we'll be a hero. I'll be an internet legend if I go 365 and 0, right? We're not going to do it. We're going to lose our bankroll some days. We're going to go down. And that means that the month that we're down or this, that it's, it's, a, it's a reset. And you're like, well, shit, now we got to figure out how do we get the money back. So that's the problem with paycheck play is, is this. When you set a win goal of 10% and you walk at 10%, you're setting yourself up for this scenario where I walk to 10%, I'm a disciplined, awesome person. And then I lose one time and all that discipline gets smacked in the face because the one loss eats up 10 sessions of win, right? Even at stop loss 50%, a loss is still soul crushing. Right, 29 or 27 and three with a 50% stop loss. You're still losing half your money. You're still out 1,500 bucks, right? You're still down. And I would assert that you need the whole thousand to win the hundred. So what do you do? Like, what's the answer to this thing? Well, I think the answer is, is twofold. Um, one is focusing on the loss recovery and loss mitigation. So the first thing we're gonna work, we're gonna work through here is this. We're gonna work hard, to A, to achieve some excess wins, okay? And what that means is this. Let's assume I've got $95 in profit. Yesterday's a good example. I was 90, I had $90 in profit. We weren't quite at our 100 yet. I had 90 bucks in profit. And we went out there 
with our full spread again. We had, I think, 25 and 15, whatever, and we won, right? We won the 25 and the 15. We ended up $130 in profit. I took the whole 130 and put it in the bank, okay? What we could have done was play with the excess, play with that 30 bucks. Now, that 30 bucks was, quote unquote, too much, right? We're looking to win 10%, we won more than 10%. I probably, if I'm playing strict paycheck style, should have been out there for not the full thing. I should have been out there for enough to win my 10%. I shouldn't have put the second don't come out there, maybe, right? Just let the don't pass ride it out. When my 10% and be gone? I think what you got to do is when you're getting close to that goal, you go out there still full bore. If you win your last couple of bets, I always say win your last bet, right? You win, win your last bet, you win your 10% plus 50 bucks, plus 60 bucks, plus 45 bucks, whatever it is. That's your excess money. I want to play with the excess money. I think we need to take the excess money and play more. Play with that profit and play with that profit in a way that makes sense in the rack. We're going to play half the profit, keep half the profit. We're going to kind of roll through and turn that 30 bucks, that 45 bucks, that 60 bucks into more money. So in other words, God forbid I win $66 on the nose, right? You know what I'm doing? I'm going to take the $100 and lock it up. I'm going to put the 66 bucks out there. We're going to try quick skill 66 and lock up an extra 50 bucks if I can, right? And I'll pu pull that back then. We'll put some money in the bank extra because I think if you can win with excess a few times, not just win excess, win a couple bucks extra, but take the excess and turn it into something special, that will cover up some of those losses. If, if I can, you know, twice a month turn 60 bucks or 50 bucks or 100 bucks into another 200 because we get on a good run or some weird hot streak, that mitigates one of those you know, going 29 and or 27 and three, it makes that feel like 27 and three, but we had an extra thousand dollars, right? That's what we're going to do. Um, so I think that's the, that is the, the plan here. I think we got to talk more about that when I get out there and I get into a situation where I can, where I can achieve some excess, we're going to play with the excess. So I have talked to you so many times about short stacking. I've done probably 50 videos on short stacking and today's another one. I want to, I want to really get into short stack play, because I think that is going to be the key to this whole thing. If we don't win with the short stack, if we can't build a short stack to play with and then win with it, we're going to fall victim to that 29 and three or 27 and three situation, right? So I want to try and, and find ways to mitigate that. It's going to mean playing the paycheck to 10% and more. Like the goal should be 20% settle for 10%. And if I win 20%, play with the excess 10%. That's really what my mindset has to be is <clears throat> stop at 10% or, or, or make sure we lock 10%, but don't just, don't just limp into 10% and run for the hills, right? That's the thing. So we're going to do, we're going to do it like that. We're going to really shoot for 20, settle for 10, play with the extra 10 if we can get it and turn that 10 into more. That's going to be the thing. I hope that that makes sense, everybody. I think that's going to be part of our, part of our key. So there we go. Uh, uh, Ken says the obvious, right? Must use excess in some way. I think the thing can not just using excess, I got to play to have excess. I think the thing I've got to start doing, like I said, is I've got to play for 20% with a 10% actual goal. Play for 20, keep 10, play with the excess 10 and make that sort of the mindset. I think that's why we talk about like having, you know, your standard plays and your home run plays. Like to me, the excess play, that's where the Philly special gets, gets lobbed out. That's where I go like a little squeeze play 66 and Philly special from there to make the extra hay. That's where, that's why we do those things. The reason why I have these hyper aggressive right side plays that I love so much is when I get myself in a spot where I have excess, that's when I play that stuff, right? That's how you can, can launch it. So uh, there it is. Um, old base is what's the verdict on the short stack. Um, you know what? I don't know about playing aggressively with it. Uh, I think when you're super short, you can't be too aggressive. You got to make a short, your first short stack play, I think it's got to be one of two things. Either it's got to be super low volatility. Like if I have 30 bucks, it's three come bets, most likely. If I've got 66 or 80 bucks, then I'm going to do a play that I know works, in air quotes, 66 hour squeeze play or 66 um, press and pull, something like that that I know is going to give me, give me more, more ammunition for later. But if it's super short stack, it's hard. And this, again, I think dials into what do you do like in the round two of the Friday night fight when you have, when you have only six units, short stack is like six units or less. What do you do with that thing? So, um, 